Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. Now guys, today I am so, so, so very super excited because this is week two in the Holiday Bix collaboration, which was created by my YouTube sister Bree of Bree's Project Book. And she invited me and two of my other YouTube sisters and Dream Team sisters to co-host this holiday event with her. Now, another reason I'm super excited, guys, is because today is my birthday. Yay! I'm so super excited. And so in this collaboration video, I am hosting for this week, this second week, and our topic is how to host family and friends during the holidays in 2021. So with COVID, um, we need to know how can we safely host family and friends and have people over to our homes and make sure that everyone stays healthy and happy. Also guys, be sure to check my description box down below for the playlist so that you can watch all of the other participants and trust me, you do not want to miss this video. So if you guys want to see what I've done and hear my tips that I have to offer, then just keep watching. Tip one will be create a welcoming entrance. That is, as your guests pull up to your home, you want for them to feel the festiveness as they're approaching your house. So you want to make sure that you have really nice curb appeal and you also have your front porch or entryway decorated um, festively so that they will know that they are invited and welcome to your home for the holiday season. Now, as you can see, I've done what I usually do by decorating my yard and my front porch. And I think that this is a way to really uh, invite your guests into your home before they actually enter. Tip two is to set the expectations early. So notify your guests of any house rules that you guys have. Like for us, our home is shoe free. So I would tell my guests in advance before they arrived that we are shoe free so they will be prepared. But also I like to put a little sign on our door as a reminder when they arrive that we are shoe free. So remove your shoes and be ready to stay a while. Tip three is you want to make sure that you have a fresh and clean home. Guys, when your guests come over, they want to not only see that your home is clean, they want to smell that it is clean also. It makes for a more comfortable environment if everyone can feel like they're in a clean space. So you want to make sure that you use um, sanitizer to wipe down all of the high surface, high touch areas, and uh, make sure that your floors are clean of any debris. So tip four is to provide accessory items to make your guests feel more comfortable. That is, if your home is shoe free like mine, then you wanna make sure you have a place designated for your guests to leave their shoes. And when they do, if they didn't come prepared with socks, Provide them with socks or slippers or something so they can be comfortable as they're walking throughout your home. Also, if your house rule is for your guests to wear face masks, then be sure to provide those for anyone that may have forgotten theirs. So here I have some face masks for adults, for an adult size, I have children's size, and also I am providing some wipes and hand sanitizer. So as the guests come in, they can sanitize their hands and take a mask if they like, or if that's your house rule. And lastly, tip five is create a sanitation station. That is, have a dedicated space in your home where you can store all of your sanitizing supplies. So here in my entryway, I have this little chest that is filled with um, Items like Lysol, Clorox, hand sanitizer, extra um, antibacterial wipes, paper towels, um, just anything that you, your guests may need 
while they're there in your home or if you're running low on supplies so that you can have items at, um, at your reach to refresh or replenish your supply. So in my case, I have everything that I need right here. And also if a guest needed something, I don't have to stop what I'm doing to go search for it. I can just show them when they enter my home, this is a sanitation station. So if you need Kleenex or any other item, everything is at your disposal for easy access. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have found these five tips useful in hosting your family this holiday season. Also make sure that your notification bells are clicked if you're interested in seeing a full tour of my entryway for your space. That video will be coming very soon. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. You know that helps me out tremendously. Also what helps me out is when you leave a comment. So please be sure to leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think about my sanitation station. And also if you think that's something that you might incorporate into your home to host your family and friends. Uh, and if you have any ideas of anything that I might add to mine or however, I'd love to see your comments down below. Alrighty guys, again, let me remind you to be sure to check my description box down below for the playlist of all of the participants. Make sure you go over and tell them that I said hello, that I sent you over and show them some love. And if you're here from one of the other ladies channels, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. And guys, let me tell you, all of this is leading up to my Christmas home tour, which I hope to have up very, very, very soon. <laughs> so there's lots and lots and lots of more um, Christmas ideas, decoration and inspiration for you. So make sure that you have your notification bells clicked and that you are subscribed. Alrighty guys, I truly appreciate all of your love and support for my faithful family members. Mm -hmm. You all know I love you, love you, love you so, 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 so very much. And thank you so much for helping to make my birthday very special. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.